Amen. Amen. You glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Marlene is sick. Lena is sick. Beverly is sick. Uh, then, uh, what is it? Is Denise is sick too? Or not feeling well tonight? Not feeling well tonight. Oh, a lot of people out tonight are sick in body. But that's okay. You know why? Because the Bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name, Jesus said. He said, there I am in the midst of them. Did you come to worship the Lord tonight? Amen. Let's all stand to our feet. Let's just lift up our hands to the Lord and let's welcome him into his house. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight in the name of Jesus. We are so thankful and grateful for the opportunity. God, that you have given us tonight, Lord, to come and to gather in your presence. And Lord, as there are many tonight, God, that are out, God, that are sick in body, we ask you, Lord, that you administer to them, strengthen them, heal them, oh God, through the power of the blood of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that they would be made whole in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you tonight, Lord, that as we praise you, as we worship you, Lord, that your presence would come, your glory would come, and fill this house, Lord. Touch those that are hurting, strengthen those, God, that are broken tonight, heal those that are sick, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen and amen. Amen. Kia G, Brother Charlie, let's sing, Are You Washed? In the blood, amen. Be thankful for the blood of Jesus tonight, amen. Have you been to Jesus for his cleansing? Chains are gone. 
I've been set free by Jesus Christ. Amen. Doesn't mean life is always easy, but, but my chains are gone. Amen. I'm free. I'm on my way to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah.
name. You're an awesome God. I worship you and I praise you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for saving us, Lord. Thank you for redeeming us, Lord. We were on our way to hell. But God, you sent forth your only begotten Son to die upon the cross that we could have eternal life. Oh, for that, Lord, we'll forever be grateful, Lord. We praise you. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord one more hand clap of praise tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Y'all can be seated tonight in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I don't know about you. I can feel his presence within this house tonight. Amen. God's good, isn't he? Amen. And all the time, God is good. <laughs> Sister Shauna testified. Amen. And uh, it, 
He's a, he's a good, good father, isn't he? Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we do want to go to the Lord in prayer tonight because some of our family is sick tonight. Amen. We want to pray for uh, Sister Beverly. She called me last night and she said that she has been sick. Uh, Sister Lena called me before church tonight and said she's been sick. And I know uh, uh, Sister Marlene, she's in the hospital tonight. Uh, she's uh, had an infection uh, in her body and she needs the Lord uh, to just touch her. Amen. And to strengthen her. Uh, anybody else have a prayer request tonight? Sister Melrose? Uh, my aunt went to uh, L.A. They got her in a uh, month up. Tomorrow they're going to go and they're do a, an ultrasound. Then they're going to do surgery at 11 o'clock. She's got a stone that's walking her uh, main duck. Okay. And that's why she can't eat. Okay. She weighs like 100 pounds now because she can't eat. And pray that everything goes okay with her. Yes. And um, when I was in the hospital... I took my Bible and I read this morning, but morning wanted me, I was going to read tonight's stuff mm -hmm. and uh, she goes, I want you to turn to Psalms 91 and uh, read that. I go, but he's, he's the woman next door. She was watching TV and uh, it was a horror movie and it was very filthy. So I went around on the other side over there and I started reading that Bible. And uh, Martin was crying, and uh, all of a sudden the noise went down, and Amen. they were going, oh, just reading the Bible. And I thank God that they listened to that there. But, Amen. Thank God. But uh, they had family come in, and it they weren't very nice. And she told me, you know, you need to be quiet in here. So there's a, a woman next door there, and Amen. she's reading the Bible. <laughs> and so I, I thank God, you know, for that. And I pray that this woman goes out of her surgery fine and, yes. and keep praying for Marty. Amen. And I also pray for Walter. He had a tooth pulled, but they had to deaden it twice. And he's had a massive headache since then. Okay. So, so Walter. Yeah. Pray for him. Let's pray for uh, Sister Mariah. She's got a doctor visit she's got to go to. She requested prayer before service tonight. Let's so remember uh, Sister Mariah. Amen. Sister Diane. Church, so people in the rows of prayer. She had to rehab today. Took a long ways to go. She <coughs> prayed through at the hospital, but you know, sometimes you can, I'm not saying, but anyhow, she, my sister, and she has a very bad condition of alcohol. And there's a lot of confusion right now going on with her ex-husband. And we've been in the middle of the road just at the church to pray that God would just put a hedge around us and a peace that Satan can't destroy this situation and good things can come out of this. And also still remember Jane because he's, she went home today, but she still got uh, dealing with a blood pressure medicine to keep her heart under control. Yes. Remember that name. Let's remember uh, Vonda. That's Darion and Jalen's uh, mother. Uh, she works a lot of times while we're in service, but uh, she's a, a baby in the Lord. And uh, let's just pray that, that God will open up those doors to wherever she can be off, to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. To, to grow and to get nourished and, and fed by the Word of God. Amen. So, her name is uh, Vonda, so let's be praying for Vonda, uh, that God would just uh, continue to minister and help her to grow in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Church, let's just go to the Lord in a time of prayer. Father, we just come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. You told us, Lord, that in the word that whenever Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, it is finished that the veil of the temple was ripped in two. That gave us access, not only to salvation, but it gave us access, Lord, to bring our needs and our requests before the very throne room of God. And Lord, tonight, God, we've got many requests that have been turned in. I pray for Mariah. I ask you, Lord, that you would just touch her, 
Give her the peace of God that passes all understanding. Lord, you know what's going on. You know the end from the beginning. And I ask the Lord that you just give her eye your peace as she goes in for this doctor visit. You've got everything under control, Lord. We, we put our faith in you. We trust you. And Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you would be with Sister Diane, Lord, and her and Wayne as they're going to the hospitals, Lord, ministering with Rose, with Marlene. I ask you, Lord, that you continue to give them the words to speak. When they don't know what to speak, the Holy Spirit will give them the words to speak. I ask you, Lord, that you would just straighten out this family situation in Rose's life. I pray, Lord God, that every demonic influence of alcohol will be broken in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord, that you tell Sister Marlene, God, give her strength. Lord, I know that she may be in Mercy Hospital tonight, but her heart is within this house. Lord, I ask you, Father, that you would strengthen her, minister to her by your spirit. I ask you, Lord, that you tell Sister Denise tonight, Give her strength, Father. Minister to my sister, I pray. Touch her, Lord. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you would touch uh, Sister Lena tonight. Sister Beverly, oh God. There's many, Lord, tonight that are battling sickness, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, that you would give them strength. We pray for Walter, that you would just take away this headache, Lord, and this pain, Lord, that he's suffering through right now. Give him strength, Father. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would touch that individual, God, that has this, this blockage. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you would also heal their body, take away their pain and discomfort. In Jesus' name, and Lord God, we ask you, Lord, that you would just continue to touch uh, Sister Vonda. I ask you, Lord, that you would give her the opportunities, Lord, on her job to, that you would have the nights off her church. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday, Lord, give her nights and days off, God, where she can be in your house to worship you and to praise you. Lord, you're able to do exceeding and abundantly of all we can ask or think. And I ask you, Lord, that you would just do that, God. Meet all these requests that have been turned into you now. Continue to have your way throughout this service. We give you all the praise, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to make a couple of announcements uh, tonight. Uh, on your way out after service, there's a sign-up sheet in the back, and uh, there's uh, some needs that the church has. And if you, uh, uh, there's off the top of my head, uh, there is uh, things like goldfish crackers. You say, what's the church need that for? Well, on Sunday morning, we had all kinds of kids here, and uh, Sister Miranda said that, when the kids came into her class, they just said, is there anything to eat? We are so hungry. And uh, so we need things that can kind of last for a little time, but things that also won't go bad real quick. Amen. Not necessarily canned foods. We don't have time to be cooking it on Sundays. But the, uh, goldfish crackers, they go a long way. And uh, believe it or not, but those uh, granola bars, I believe, uh, there's a sign-up sheet in the back. Uh, uh, water is one of them. I, Brother Charlie brought some water tonight. He said, praise the Lord for that. But uh, we could always use water. And even kid waters, mini waters. Yeah. I had a, one of the little boys from the community came in before church tonight. I said, Pastor, I need a water. I said, you took two of them on Sunday. Amen. I said, I need water. Uh, but we, we gave him a water, of course, but uh, then he tells his buddies, and his buddies come and need him water. But, uh, so we need uh, the kid waters <coughs> as well. Uh, King James Bibles, uh, you can find them at the dollar store. All right, It don't have to be fancy, but a King James Bible, uh, they got them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I know on Olive Drive, they got them at the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar a piece, but if we could get about 10 of them, uh, that would be great. What are we going to use them for? For first-time uh, visitors, people that come in off the streets, you'd be surprised how many people do not own a Bible. All right? So uh, it's just a dollar. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet. If you could just sign your name next to the item that is needed, uh, we'd appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to sign my name on one of those. 
uh, after service. Amen. So do remember those announcements. Of course, Sunday morning, 1030, come expecting a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Sister Michaela, you're going to come and take up the offering tonight. Amen. You got a scarf. Amen. Amen. She don't want to wear it around her neck. She wants it on her head. Make sure you see it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Loud and proud. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray over the offering. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this time we can come to you in our giving of tithes and offering. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you just bless it, multiply it. I ask you, Lord, that you bless those that give, bless those that are not able to give, that they can give unto your work in the future, Lord. Just bless this offering, Lord, as you did the fishes and loaves, and multiply it. In Jesus' name, we give you the praise. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Uh, key C, Brother Charlie. Change it up a little bit. Oh, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. Just 